Well, Daniel is in there taking the polygraph. Let's see if he passes. This is his first one ever. He is nervous. Pretty nervous. If he passes, it could be good. My power pole. The old dead stick action. Daniel, we might be done fishing here. That one took me by surprise. I was fighting with the power pole remote. This is a better fish than that last one. A lot better fish. You call one the golden black. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. oh. Don't don't hit him in the butt. Oh yeah, this is the kind of fish we're looking for. Whether I get to weigh him or not, he's a good one. Oh yeah, that's the one we want this weekend. Maybe a little long. <laughs> Maybe a little long, but it tells me the right fish are in here. All right, so Daniel and I are pre-fishing for the third stop of the PRL redfish tour. Um, video is kind of about how I approach pre-fishing and it's probably not the same as a lot of people and probably not the best way to do it out there, but this is how I do it. We spent all day yesterday just kind of riding around, looking for places with bait, looking for places with decent water. We saw fish, we might cast at it two or three times, but I really, in all of my pre-fishing, I'm not trying to catch a lot of fish. Um, I'd, I'd, I want more fish that are going to be willing to eat on Friday and Saturday than right now. But we found this area yesterday and we kind of, we messed around and I saw a couple of fish blow up, saw a couple of birds paying attention to stuff and there was a lot of bait in here. So I told Daniel, that was about three o'clock yesterday. I told Daniel, so let's come back tomorrow morning first thing and see if we can get a couple of them to eat. Well, we casted for five minutes and I caught one that was probably about 26 inches and weighed around seven pounds then i caught one that was an over it was closer to 29 but it weighed a little bit over 10 pounds so that kind of gives me an idea that you know there's a there's a variety of fish in here but there's probably some pretty good ones in here the the uh the fish that were in here they were they were a little heavy but you know um we caught two fish and now we're moving to a completely different area i don't want to catch another fish here i, I know that there's some fish here and we're going to move a couple of lakes over and just see if, if we can get some bites there because on tournament day you never know that these fish can move or something so we're trying to get we're trying to get more than one plan all right so it's the last morning of pre-fishing daniel and i found what we think is going to be plan a yesterday with uh the fish that, that we found we didn't try to catch a lot of them but we caught enough of them and marked enough of them that we think it's going to it's going to be enough to at least give us a chance. We caught some that were that were a little shorter and a little bit lighter, and we caught some that were over and heavier, and that's enough for me to be okay with, you know, moving on out of there because there's usually going to be fish in between them. It's just a matter of can we catch the right ones on tournament day. We are headed to a new area today to try to find a plan B. You know, it's within probably 10 or 15 miles of where we found our plan A at, and I say plan A lightheartedly at the moment. We'll know if it was a good plan A on Saturday evening. But we're going to go check out plan B today, see if it, we have something else to do. We'll try to get in probably a little bit earlier so we can get everything ready for tomorrow. And for those of you that have noticed, yes, I have Magellan everything on. I had my Grundens packed up, all in a bag, ready to go, and somehow or another left those in Texas. Um, I don't like Magellan that much. It's they're, they don't, they're hot, but they were cheap and I was able to do, I was able to get something to wear. So there's something to be said for that. My, my camera going crazy. Anyway, so Daniel and I are headed out to check one more spot and then on to the captain's meeting this evening. Hopefully this spot works out. Well, what I'm really worried about is as so often happens where you go to plan B and catch a couple of good ones and really mess our minds up about where we want to start tomorrow. But anyhow, all right, well, rough roads and last dish efforts there they are
What in a big group? Maybe three or four or five. There he is. Hey, dude, I need a net. Okay. This is a monster, man. Here he comes. Oh. I think that one's gonna fit. He's gonna be close. Dude. Look at that thing. I put on this scope. I always talk about street retrieves. This one I kind of drag it and hop it. Because they're quite obviously on shrimp with those birds working on like that. Moment of truth here. All day, baby. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Come get all heads all messed up. I'm telling Daniel this morning, we had a plan A, so as soon as we go look for plan B, something good is gonna happen. I, I see a couple more schools around here, so it's got me kinda, got me second guessing plan A now. There he is. That's a bigger school. Yeah, it's a good school of fish. Daniel, I mean, this is marsh we could cruise around in with the top water and rattle them out too. I just don't know that there's as many fish in this marsh as there is in that other one. And the number of golden rule to two-day tournaments is, and I'm this isn't my my smartness speaking, it's been said by many people, is that you can't win it on day one, but you can dang sure lose it on day one. We got up at four, had a flat tire already. And I gotta say the, one of the toughest things about tournament fishing is the ride to the launch, which is about a, I don't know, 45 minute to an hour ride for us, assuming we don't have a flat tire. But that's the toughest part is the doubts and the hopes at the same time in your head and wondering what, Wondering if they're going to eat today, wondering if the weather's going to go as predicted, wondering if they're going to measure, all that kind of stuff. But when you have flat tires, and I blew a can of fix a flat all over the front of me already. When you have stuff like that, it really it really distracts you and uh, gives you something else to think about. But it's 515. We just drove 60 through Bridge City, which is a 45. It's 515. We're probably about 30 minutes away still. And uh, we're launching at 6. So it, our never a dull moment started early today. Our friend, Sorry about that. Good luck, boys. Good luck, boys. Steve's ready, Eddie. All right, boat 13. Let's go. Always so hopeful this time in the morning. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You also always have to poop right now. Mm -hmm. We covered a lot of ground real quick and uh, came back to one of the ponds that you guys saw pre-fishing. And the first thing I see when I pull in is this group of birds right here which is a complete blessing hopefully hopefully so all right so that group of birds that was guaranteed redfish was indeed not redfish of course because that's just how it works on tournament day daniel and i have moved over to another one of the spots where we found fish we're going to fish this pretty thoroughly i'm throwing a top water which i absolutely despise throwing during tournaments because it's it's easy for them to pop off of these things, especially when they're heavy and you're trying to get them in the boat quick. But that's about all we've been able to get them to eat this week. So a little bit is better than nada, I would say. The goal right now is two keepers in the live well. That's really it. If we can get 12 to 13 pounds pretty quick, that takes some of the pressure off and lets me uh, lets me work a focus on improving there. Come on. Come on. It's right behind it. Another big one. Oh, 
Oh, this one's way big. Here you go. Oh, he crushed it too. That little pause is all that it needed right now. Yeah, a little bit too much, I believe. Yep, 8.30. Uh, Bye-bye. Give Steve a kiss. Give him a kiss, Steve. You got any little friends around here? Our fish are too excellent is what it is. Of course, this stinking GoPro wasn't rolling for any of that fiasco. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Goodness gracious. Is everything in here 28 and a half today? Bye, Felicia. He blew the heck out of it and then ran around a bunch of poles. It was entertaining, wasn't it? I could do with a little less of the dramatic. Yeah, Daniel got yelled at again. <laughs> like, not over, but still got some meat on him. I gotta be pretty easy with him, though. Ooh! He's a rodeo fish. Oh, he's gonna fit. I don't know how heavy he is, but he's gonna fit. He's a start. Get on this other side of me. Get on the other side of me. Do not miss. That's missing. Oh, I think he's gonna fit. His tail looks pretty good. He looks thick. All right, so that one's nine pounds. A little bit too close to the line for comfort, but we're gonna give him a chance to pull himself back together in the live well. I messed with him pretty bad getting that hook out of his chin, and uh, we'll see. Got him. He was sitting right by that pole. He's not a big guy, but he fits the slot. Oh my god, I think that's it. Is that a fish that measures? Uh, might be. What? Alright, so this one's six and a half and twenty-six inches. Yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm 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 throwing top water because I'm trying to aggravate them. I'm not throwing it because I think they're seeking and destroying the surface right now. But just because the uh, I think maybe I've been popping the cork too much with that crab on there. So just let it sit. Yeah, and you let it sit a little bit. Maybe. Longer. I mean, let it sit a little bit longer. In the past three days, half the fish that have hit this top water, it was sitting for a couple seconds. Yeah. But that's precisely like when I was, to, you know, hey, put on a popping cork because you're aggravating them like that. But then you got sitting something sitting there stinking to entice them, and then fishing that little bit deeper water. Now if we can bring in 13 or so and then see where we're sitting after today, we'll know what kind of adjustments to make tomorrow. I don't see myself fishing this marsh again tomorrow, though. I mean, we talked about this yesterday. We want to get two fish in the box and see where we're at on day one, and then find out. I, I mean, if we go over to the other side, um, if we go over to the other side tomorrow and get on those groups of the 28 and a quarters, we can catch the right one there, right? Well, right three. But I was really focused on just making sure we had two today. Crab. <laughs> Can't confirm. Oh. 
Oh, that might be that might be a good one, D. Folks, we're sitting at somewhere around 13 pounds right now. But that's better than six and a half, right? Because I still don't know if that big one's gonna make it. All right, so in a day one, time flies whenever you're doing this. It you number one thing if you don't fish a lot of tournaments, when you get somewhere, you're like, oh man, I've got like eight hours left, and it happens quick. We either have about 16 pounds or a little over 12. We have a big one in our live well, but I don't know if he's going to relax on the ride home. And if he is, we're going to kick him before we get into weigh-in. It was a fight, and we fought it. Uh, we caught our our second or third slot. We shall see. When we put the fish in the live well, he looked good, but man, he's he is right there on the line close, and sometimes they'll get long on you. But either way, we fought hard. We've got a long ride back, and not a whole lot of time to get there. Daniel's. Daniel's strapping everything down over here. We run our trolling motor strap to the back because I have a tendency to tear them off the front. So anyway, headed away in. Here we go. See what 12 and or 16 does. Who knows? That's the difference between 16 pounds and 12 pounds, folks. I don't think we're going to risk it. Especially as tough as this day could have been for everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and go with the 12 or 13. But he was close. I still might try it. I haven't decided yet. But right now I'm not going to. Alright, so we had to kick our 9 pounder. That leaves us with 2, a little bit over 6. But I would rather be in it today, especially with the conditions. So that I have something to work off on day 2. Than risk that that nine getting kicked because he was he was close maybe it maybe it maybe he wouldn't have but he was close but these two guys will be safe and sometimes the name of the game especially with these conditions is just get five fish on the board yeah big one and then when you were done we live please hand your fish right here to Miss Lori and C Owen. Well, until noon and oh. that fish oh. until 2.30. Hey, and McRae, their big fish was 6.3 fish, 3.6. I need the total. All right, their total stringer weight. 13.02, 13.02. Gentlemen, come on up here. What's happening, Josh? What's happening? How are you? Oh, doing all right. So how, so how was it today? It was a day of back aches and heartaches. Back aches and heartaches. Back aches. Whoever named this place Pleasure Island inadequately named today. Really? It was pretty rough. It was real rough. We made a long run, and then we had two fish that were nine pounds, give or take. But both of them were just, we just couldn't get them to measure that. The elite board needed to be a little bit yeah. more elite. Yeah. More elite. A little bit more elite. Okay. They, they both settled in about an eighth over, and I didn't figure you would let that slide. No, no we're not going to let that slide, because we're going to slide that tail all the way out to 27. That's right. It's over, it's over. That's all it. Right. All right, well, anyway, congratulations. Good job on, the, on today's performance, and uh, I'll get ready for tomorrow. I, I get to go tomorrow, man. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Josh. All right. All right, so... We are done, day one. Headed to Real Cajun Restaurant Bar Seafood. So I've been there I've been there a couple years ago. It was awesome. So I think we're sitting like fifth right now. I haven't seen the actual board, but fourth, fifth, something like that. 2.3 out of the lead, which is you know what, what we figured really. Um, but we went ahead and we were safe and weighed the two that we knew would you know put us on the board and give us a chance for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is gonna be tough to catch three fish. I'm nervous about catching three fish tomorrow. And I know everybody else is. And my hair is rocking 77 miles an hour. But so that's it. Uh, you know, that, that's our day one mentality. Tomorrow, we're probably gonna go a little bit harder at it. I think if we can catch three fish over six and a half pounds, I'm quite sure we're getting paid. It could take it. I don't know. Um, talked to a lot of guys at the ramp, and not a whole lot of good fish were caught today. But day one is in the books. We're tired. We're wore out, and I'm, I'm, I'm delirious. Talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, day two. We're a little, a little beat up and sore today, but the, I imagine the whole field is. <clears throat> there yesterday, I think only eight teams weighed in two fish. So today, the main goal is going to be to weigh in the full stringer, all three fish. I mean, obvious, but 
as tough as the fishing is, or at least as tough as it is for us to find ones that measure, you know, that, that's the main goal is getting three fish. I think we're going to go back to the marsh where we, where we fished at yesterday and try to get three quick. But the difference today is we may move over to the other marsh that we were free fishing where the birds were helping us at. Uh, those fish were just, they were a little bit shorter than the fish uh, that we caught yesterday. And then the other thing is today we're going to have to catch two 28s and a 27, which it's going to be easy. We're going to do it, right? Totally. Daniel says totally we're going to do it. But today we do have to catch two 28s, but we have to catch another under 27. And, but three fish, that's the goal. Three fish, and then after that, we'll worry about weight. So, we left the tower at home last night. I was thinking about sight casting today, or at least in our second spot, sight casting. I don't think we're going to be able to sight cast in there where we fished yesterday. But we elected to leave the tower at home. I I wanted to bring it, but I was also afraid that I would get tunnel vision when trying to sight cast and not cover as much water. So the tower's at home, same plan today. We're just going to fish out of the boat, you know, top waters and plastics most likely. Maybe a cork here and there. Uh, we're headed to the ramp. We should be there about 15 minutes before launch. And wind today is supposed to be a lot lower. I hope it was. Yesterday it wasn't supposed to be as windy as it, as it was, but it was definitely windy yesterday. So we should have lower wind today. Really hoping for that. Going to go focus on three in the box. Three in the box. If we don't get three in the box, we don't win. We get three in the box, we have a chance. Control motor. Ooh, we. We just got back to our pond and we have lost a lot of water. But right now it's real smooth and we're seeing some fish push. So try to use that to our advantage. My thought right now is I don't love to throw a top water in really calm water. When it's real flat, I don't love a top water. Um, as many eats as we got on it yesterday, I'm still gonna try it a little bit, but I'm also gonna have a plastic rig to flip on anything I see pushing. So that's the plan right now, right now. I'm gonna throw a, uh, what am I gonna throw on this thing? I'm gonna throw a gulp on it. That's what I'm gonna throw this morning. Oh, come on. Don't be like that this morning, fellas. Don't be like that. Got one coming to it. Eat it. Yeah, there was a bunch sitting right here. The trouble, they're just sitting. One moving away from us right here. Well, I like the leader right there. I'm gonna try to intercept him on this point. Well, we have the one under 27 we need, almost. Where are all these little guys coming from? Well, this one's a little bit over four. Hopefully he gets cold, which is what these are for. We'll take him. Three four pounders will probably still draw a check in this thing. Not going to draw first place, but it might draw a check. Turn on the oxygen. Got our first fish at 9.17 in the morning, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's a little bit late, and he's a little bit small, but hey. All right, so after looking at fish that wouldn't eat for three hours, Daniel and I have moved to our, our backup spot. There's just, there's a bunch of fish over there, and for only getting one blow up and catching an under and one that's not even what we're looking for it was time to do something new what's the point of having a backup spot if you don't use it when you need a backup but well, this is a bigger area with just a bunch of broken marsh so daniel's throwing a popping cork and a gulp and this it's deeper water you see me doing this all the time with my rod it's, when i'm in areas i don't know i'm always checking the depth i want to know how deep it is but it's deeper water so daniel's throwing the cork and i'm staying on the top water being as hell almost everything we've caught this week has been on this top water we have, I think we have about three hours left to make something happen. 
just picking this feller up. Oh, good fish. It's fit. Gonna be close. Come up here. This one ain't out of that school either. He was sitting on that on that berm. All right, catch him first time. Ready? Nice! Nice! Oh, He's he gonna be with the close that big old tail on him. Mm. As soon as I switched over to that plastic. Oh, boy. I like what I'm seeing though, Daniel. Alright, we just put a nine and a half in the live well that's gonna fit. We've got another group in front of us. I'm all hung up in the net. Oh, of course. Okay, you're there. They're on it. Yeah, there you go. Keep it on me. Are you coming back into me? You're all right, you're all right. You're all right, don't freak out. Ugh. All right, here, here, keep him off the floor. Keep him off the floor. Oh, this one's feeling slotty. B26, baby. He ain't ripping drag. Stay in the boat, Daniel. Huh? Yeah. Oh, dude, this one has a tail from the gods. This one has a tail from the gods. Oh my goodness, Daniel. You've caught a freaking dragon. Dude. Daniel, we're going to do an interview for YouTube. <laughs> Daniel, when we saw that school of fish coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you knew there was a 10 and a half pounder in there that would measure, Had to measure. By, the, by, the, by a gift from the gods, right. how, did, how did you pick that one and just, and just put it right in front of me? It was that wake, man. It was that one on that left right there. The, the, yeah. You could tell by the weight that the tail was a little bit different? Yeah, yeah. you could see the shape. Like... See, just lady, I had to send it right on there. See, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about how just putting in your time out here and paying your dues, you start learning the little things. You learn how to tell if a tail is weird off of a wake. But all right, so Daniel and I made a move to our. This, this is we we found this one Thursday, and it was so windy, we had a hard time fishing it. But we did catch a couple of good ones in here. So this, it was a backup plan. It was an idea for us. And with that other pond going so slow. But if everything works out of the scales, we should have about 27 pounds. But sometimes when we're running, the fish will get longer and won't measure. And we have one that's real close. Uh, we have two that are completely safe, but one's close. And he's nine and a half of our 27. But I think me and Daniel are about to wrap it up and, and head on back. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 12.52. Weigh-in opens at, at two? One. one. Weigh-in opens at one. So, uh, man, a lot of improvement in, in just a couple hours. Don't ever give up in these things. Don't ever give up because the people that you're fishing against aren't going to. Oh! <laughs> 
All right, all right. All right. Big fish, side pot fish. Nine point six five. Nine point six five. All right, we got three fish in here. We're gonna rattle them around. All right. Total weight. Total stringer weight from McCumber and McRae. Twenty-six point seven zero. Twenty-six point seven zero. I don't. I don't know if we're live right now or not. We are live. Okay, we are live. So you can just look right up there. Right up here. Right there, All right, look. There. Here it is. Here it is. Regardless of what we did today, Josh and I and several guys out here, we lost Chris Williamson a while back. Yes. Chris's memorial is today. It is. It is today, and I couldn't come to it. Well, I could have. I could have skipped this and, and went. Yeah. But I don't feel like that's what Chris would have wanted us to do. No. Neither one of us. No. He wanted us here. He wanted you here. This morning, whenever I woke up, I knew I was behind the eight ball. And I still I still don't plan on winning this thing because there's some guns out there and they've still got to come in. But I did. I, I said a prayer and I asked the Lord that my dad and Chris be with us today. And I was really doubting that it worked until lunchtime. I feel like Chris is the one that helped us catch some fish and did say good job. My dad's the one that laughed at me for my career choice all morning. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway hey typical sabine for us we have one average day and then one day we get gifted so well thank, you know what it's a the blessing it's a blessing having you guys here to come out and fish with us and we always look forward to you guys fishing with you You guys come out y'all compete y'all fish hard y'all give it your all and we can't wait to see y'all in galveston and, and tell bill tell bill coleman i wore the do rag in first okay all right we'll go ahead and make that a note so bill if you're watching this he wore it first we done here? <laughs> 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 Don't breathe. Don't breathe. <laughs>